hi everyone so i have made this video to show you how you will be able to upload and download the question paper in your aat examination for sage okay so as you remember when you first enter to your sage examination they will give you a key code and you type the key code to enter into the examination so i'm trying to show this using the practice assessment on the aat website because we don't have access to secure access now okay so whatever key code they give you, you type the key code and you say OK. And once you go in, you can see your details and your date of birth and your AAT numbers and everything. And you say confirm the details. And then you say yes, I accept for the terms and conditions that you don't share the assessment material with anybody. Now the actual assessment window will open. OK. Now usually when the assessment window opens, you scroll down and you directly say start assessment, okay? But with the AAT, you need to see that you only have two hours to do the examination. So what it is very important before you do the start assessment is for you to create the company. Because if you scroll down this window, you can see the data for the creating company already given to you in the beginning itself before you click the start assessment. The reason why they do this is so that you can set up the company and have it ready and then you click start assessment. Okay. So when you open the sage window, do not click start assessment directly. Okay. So first scroll down the window to see the information about set up your accounting software. So in that information, they will give you the name of the company. They will give you the financial year, the owner's name, the address the VAT number, the VAT rate and any other information whatever you need like the system software date etc. Okay, so because all this information is given to you before you start your assessment itself when you see this information you minimize the assessment window screen by using the minimize button open sage and then first create the company. After you create the company then you click on start assessment okay so currently i'm not able to see my start assessment button in this window i need to make my window a little bit larger to see this let me try that once one minute okay so when you create the company afterwards you click on start assessment that is when your timer for the two hours will start okay so by creating the company beforehand you are saving at least i can say 10 to 12 minutes uh, in your examination time okay so open the window scroll down the window without pressing the start assessment see the information about the company creation and create your company then to see the information about customers suppliers and everything else you need the question paper so then you click on start assessment so when i clicked on the start assessment you can see now that the timer have started okay i'm moving my window here you can see now the timer have started and it is selling one minute and 59 seconds okay now in this time window you can see these two buttons over here okay one here says assessment book that is your question paper okay and one here says upload files so this button should be used in order to upload the files okay so first i'll show you how to download the assessment book you just click on that button and it will open a window to say open or save as so you click on save as and save the question paper on the desktop once you do this you don't need this window anymore so you go to the sage you see the question paper and you do all your tasks as it is same as the case studies. First your customers, then your suppliers, then your trial balance, sales invoices, purchase invoices and everything else. Once you do everything, you generate all your reports. And once all your reports are ready, make sure you save all your reports in a single folder on the desktop. So that you are not looking around for your reports when you are uploading okay so when you're generating your reports save all the reports on the desktop in a single folder or else just directly put them on the desktop that is also fine when all the reports are ready 
then you click on this button which says upload files okay as of now even if i click it nothing will happen because it is a practice assessment okay but usually in your examination when you click on this button upload files you will find a small window for you to upload you know just like how you attach your reports for me on the email you browse you go to your desktop you find the files and you upload them only problem is you cannot upload five or six files at once you will have to do it one by one so first you are evidence one then evidence two then evidence three then evidence four and etc the most important evidence is always the audit trail because audit trail shows all the tasks whatever you have done okay so if any case or any time if you are running out of time first thing you should be uploading should be the audit trail and then the screenshots and then the other reports okay so always audit trail is the most important report because it shows everything what you have done with the sage software okay but uh, when you are in the sage you cannot see this timer over here okay so you will not know sometimes and you might think that you still have time and you keep continuing working in sage without coming to this window at all then eventually when you come back if the timer finishes this window will close automatically so you will not be able to upload anything so when you start write down your time somewhere by what time you need to finish count to 1 hour 45 minutes from there like let's say you started the assessment exactly at 10 10 so 1 hour 45 minutes will be uh, let's say 11 10 and 12 sorry 11.55 let's say so 1 hour 45 minutes will be 11.55 so you need to come back to the window say exam window by then to upload your reports okay because you cannot see the timer when you are in the sage window so there is a high chance that sometimes you may run out of time and by the time you come back here this window might have already closed so time yourself to 1 hour 45 minutes to complete everything and even if you have not completed anything just whatever you have completed until then upload all the reports so that at least you are safe and whatever you have completed until then will be marked okay because if you don't upload anything nothing will be marked okay so that will be a zero percent result so you have to upload your evidence in order to make sure the exam get marked so let's say by one hour 50 minutes you were doing the task 11 which is the journals and you did not do your bank reconciliation don't worry about that because bank reconciliation is only one task but you already completed 80 to 90 percent of the paper so generate your reports generate your audit trail upload everything and then if you still have time then do the bank reconciliation and take a screenshot of that and upload it at the end so that way you can still fetch your marks okay but don't wait until everything is finished to upload because the assessment window opens if there's a sorry if there's a window closes you will not be able to upload anything okay so please make sure that you upload your evidence okay so how to upload your evidence is you need to click on this upload files a small window will open for you to browse to know where the files are located you just click on browse go to the desktop and upload your evidence files whatever you generated one by one if you want to download the question paper you use the yellow button to upload the files you use the green button after uploading there is a small section over here which is just like a checklist okay just to say that whether you have completed all these questions and whether you have uploaded them or not that is up to you if you want to complete this checklist or not okay it will not carry any relevance okay so that is a checklist just for you to check if you have uploaded all the evidences or not okay and then once all the evidences are completed and attached and uploaded then you click finally on submit assessment okay so that is how your real time sage unit assessment works okay i hope this video is helpful